Our garbage dumps are overflowing with plastic, metal, and glass. A lot of it is ending up in our seas, mostly plastic, which is cheap, durable, and easily mass-produced. We have entered an age of plastic, where plastics will outweigh fish in the oceans by 2050. Because plastic is not degradable, it forms giant ocean patches like the Great Pacific Garbage Patch in the middle of the subtropical North Pacific Ocean. 73% of marine litter in the Northwest Pacific is plastic. Marine litter is not just an eyesore. It absorbs and leaches out toxic substances, entangles sea animals, transports invasive species, and spoils beaches. It is threatening sea navigation and may also impact human health. Did you know that fishing gear abandoned at sea continues ghost fishing, trapping, injuring, and killing turtles, birds, fish, and seals? Ghost nets also reduce fish populations. Scientists estimated that the seas surrounding East Asia have 27 times more microplastics per kilometer square than other world seas. Microplastics are formed by larger plastic debris, degrading into smaller and smaller pieces, but also come from microbeads in beauty products. So what are we doing about it? In 2008, member states of the Northwest Pacific Action Plan of the United Nations Environment Program, or NOPAP, China, Japan, Republic of Korea, and Russia launched the Regional Action Plan on Marine Litter for the prevention, removal, and monitoring of marine litter. The plan supports Sustainable Development Goal 14, Life Below Water. NOPAP has prepared several guidelines to reduce marine litter in fishing, aquaculture, and tourism. Every year, NOPAP brings together leading experts to discuss solutions to marine litter and holds international coastal cleanup campaigns with public participation. What else are we doing? Ban the problem at the source. China banned free plastic shopping bags in 2008, reducing annual usage by a whopping 40 billion plastic bags. Pay and save. The South Korean government saves U.S. $36 per ton of marine litter removed by paying fisher folk to collect marine litter instead. Research and development for cleaner seas. South Korea has developed fishing gear, which degrades in seven years. Japan's Ministry of the Environment conducts surveys of drifting waste and drifting microplastics at approximately 130 stations annually. Make disposal easy. Floating receptacles have been set up near harbors for fisherfolk in South Korea to dump their litter. Innovative materials. Japan's Ministry of the Environment will include U.S. $32 million in its fiscal 2019 budget request to commission the development of materials alternative to conventional plastics, including bio-based plastics, paper, and other renewable materials. Empower. Green volunteers in Dalian dive every year to collect seabed litter. Students in Russia take part in regular beach cleanup campaigns. Be creative. Artists in Japan have used marine litter to create works of art. There's still a lot to do, and your actions can make a big impact. <laughs>